these are the dedicated tools and materials required. With this unit, you may connect up to 128 indoor units and 60 outdoor units. When linked to a communication adapter, you may connect up to 256 indoor units and 120 outdoor units. Refer to the manual for specifications, unit dimensions, and supplied accessories. Avoid the following locations for installation under direct sunlight, location near heat source, uneven surface, location where the controller will be splashed with water or affected by dampness or humidity, location that is subject to excessive vibration or physical impacts. Lastly, location with source of electrical noise. The specification for power supply wiring is to have a flexible wire of 2 square millimeter power supply cable that follows IEC standard and a total wire length of 30 meter or less. The specification for inter-unit control wiring is to have a flexible shielded wire of 0.5 to 2 square millimeter and a total wire length of 1000 meter or less. Refer to the manual for the basic wiring diagram. First, loosen the screws to remove the power switch cover. The power supply terminal board is located here. The power supply wire has to pass through the power in port. Connect the live and neutral wires. The earth terminal is located apart from power terminal board. Hence, the earth wiring has to be longer than the power line. Secure the power supply wire with the cable tie supplied. Next, connect the inter-unit control line to Terminal 1 and 2 of Link 1 and Erding line to Terminal 0. Link 1 configuration is for 64 indoor units or less. For configuration of more than 64 units, a communication adapter CZC Funk 2 is needed to connect via RS485 connection at Terminal 14, 15 and 16. After all termination, attach back the power switch cover and secure with two screws. For design control box and mounting position requirements, refer to the manual. To ensure proper airflow for heat dissipation inside the control box, provide vents such as slits on the upper and lower part of the right and left sides. Do not allow the temperature inside the control box to exceed 40 degrees Celsius. Be careful not to block the upper vents. To mount the centralized controller, First, you have to remove the panel screws located at the bottom. Lift the panel upward to remove. Next, install the unit to the wall and secure with screws. Attach the cover panel from above. Lastly, secure the cover panel 
with the bottom screws. After installation, proceed to configuration. Please refer to the instruction booklet before your installation. Panasonic.